In this video, I'll be showing you the fastest and most efficient way you can edit your video podcast using Premiere Pro so that you no longer have to waste all your time editing. Let's get it. Hey, what's up? It's Alma Takori with Think Media, giving you the best tips and tools for helping build your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do YouTube strategy tips, tech gear reviews, but also tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. So I've been editing video for well over 10 years now. And I remember when I first got into it, uh, I could just spend hours on end editing behind a screen and I just enjoyed editing. But as time went on, as I got married, now I have a kid, uh, I really cared about how efficient and how fast I could edit because it mattered to me. And so I really hope that this workflow in the same way it's helped me uh, get you more time so you could spend more time with your family or even more time creating videos. And I just wanna encourage you to keep this video in your back pocket, keep this workflow uh, at hand because it can work for so many types of jobs. Whether you're doing a podcast with multiple angles, uh, if you're doing a testimonial with multiple angles, if you're doing interview setups with multiple angles, or if even, if, even if you're doing music videos, if you're doing a project that has multiple angles but the same audio, the multicam workflow will work for you. And so I just wanna encourage you with that. Before we jump into it, I just wanna let you know that this is a part three of a three-part series all about video podcasting. And I would say part two plays a huge role in part three. I'm gonna be using our processed audio file, which in part two, I talked about how we got to that processed audio file. So if you haven't yet checked out that video, make sure you do. But other than that, let's get into the tutorial. First things first is we're gonna open up Premiere Pro. Now, uh, as we open up Premiere Pro, you can notice that there are some stuff already. I have my asset sequence, which is just a power tip. If you are doing the same type of stuff, whether it be for your YouTube channel or for client work, but you're using the same music, you're using the same intro, the same titles, just have a sequence or a folder in your Premiere that just has it all saved, and then just reference kind of that file. If you're gonna do a new month, just save as a new month. And so if we did that, let's just do save as, and then let's put this in that new folder and we'll call it podcast new month. So now we now we can reference that assets folder every month no matter what and I don't have to dig through my documents. All right, so housekeeping notes done. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import the video and the audio file into the project. I'm gonna start a new bin just to keep it clean. Let's call it episode one. And uh, I'm just gonna double click on that so we can see it. All right, I'm gonna import uh, the video file and the audio file from episode one. The video file and then the audio file, we're gonna import it. And I think this is key that you do this, maybe the, do this the night before you actually start editing. Uh, and what that is, is proxying your files. I always do this because it allows me to edit really fast. Even though I have a beefed up MacBook, uh, most people don't have a really fast computer if you're messing with 4K files. Uh, you can right click your video file, go to proxy, and then hit create proxies. And then what you wanna do is just make sure, whatever you want, but I choose the lowest quality possible. Don't be fooled when you start editing it because it looks all bad, but I'm just gonna create this proxy and then click next to original media and then I'm gonna hit okay. What it's gonna do, it's gonna open up Adobe Media Encoder and it's just gonna take your 4K file and turn it into a Three, like a 540p file so that you can work through it faster. And, and so what Encoder is actually gonna do is it's simply gonna make a lower quality version of your video clip or clips if you're using multiple clips. Uh, and then so it's easier to work through. And because of the nature of Hollywood and video editing, 15 minutes just went by and it's done proxying. A few moments later. Cool, so as you can see, the proxy is done. We can close out uh, encoder. All right, and so here we go. We're back in Premiere. We have our two files right here. The key thing I want you to do, select both of the files. You're going to right click and then create multi-camera source sequence. Um, we can call this tips podcast. Uh, you just want to make sure these few things are clicked. You want to make sure audio track channel one is clicked. Uh, you want to make sure all this, just copy this exactly. If it, if yours does not look like this, I, don't know, I can't help you. But if yours looks like this, you're gonna hit okay. 
boom, what Premiere just did is it synced your audio and then it synced the video's audio all into the same sequence. And so that's what we have right here. Uh, this is the process clips that you selected. So then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open this, uh, you're gonna right click the sequence and then hit open in timeline. Boom. And as you can see, I'm gonna turn off the proxy. So as you can see, um, we now have the, uh, the, we have two audio files, the audio file from the video itself, and then we have the audio file that we hooked up. But because it's synced up, we could simply delete the audio file from the uh, video because we don't need it no more. To the 21st, Pasadena, California. This is a can't miss it. So now we have the audio all good to go. I can cut or drag the video to where they start. And to be honest, they don't start until Shauna starts uh, saying her script. This podcast is for you. And then, so I'm just going to put it on Shauna, cut out Mike. Sorry, Mike. So there's the beginning of our podcast. Hey guys, this is Mike and Shauna Jones. We are the owners of SAS. Cool. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to either hold down option or you can copy paste or you can just drag this up. So. I like to hold down, if you were to hold down option and drag up, if I held down option, drag up, it just duplicates the file. What we're doing right now is I'm creating two different angles, two additional angles to this podcast. So the first angle is going to be Shauna. So I'm going to click on this, go to my uh, effects controls, and then I'm going to zoom in to just Shauna. This is what I love about shooting in 4K, is you literally get three angles. Uh, okay, if you want to. But then again, who knows this workflow? This is, I'm literally sharing all my secrets, guys. You better you better hit like if you're grateful. Uh, I'm gonna now uh, mute this track, I guess you could say, and then I'm gonna zoom into this on Mike. Mike is the other owner of Sassy Lashes. If you wanna check out their podcast, by the way, too, just search Sassy Lash in uh, YouTube and then their stuff will pop up and you can see his, uh, good examples. Pretty cool podcast. So then I have, now I have three angles um, that I made in this sequence that has one, has Shauna and then has Mike, but has the one audio file. Boom, so once you have that all hooked up, the next thing you can actually do is you can actually color grade back here if you wanna, if you wanna color grade it. You know, I have these like presets that I made just for them, OE Sassy. Uh, it's just a quick, a quick little cruncher. Let's see how that looks. Yep, looks pretty cool to me. Cool. So you are you you now have three angles and one audio file. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to this sequence back in here, and you're gonna select new sequence from clip. Boom. So we're at right here, we're at new sequence from clip. What you can see is now we only have one nested sequence to work with, but that's okay. Here's a few things I want you to do. In your preview monitor, uh, where your video shows, you're gonna hit the plus button. And I want you to add two buttons down here. The first one is the multi camera view. So if, if that, you know, if you have it up here, I'm gonna just put it away. So right here, multi camera view, I want you to drag that onto your toolbar. And the next thing I want you to do is to drag toggle proxies. Boom. So once you have these two right here, we're gonna be kind of ready to go. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, toggle proxies. This is gonna, as you can see, it just gave the, now it looks squished in, but it's because it's like a 540p project or file, but that's what I wanna do. I wanna be able to work with that. And then the second thing is toggle proxies. Boom, look at your own little switcher board. If you don't see this, the likelihood is that you don't have, um, you know, you don't have this V1 click. You wanna make sure that you're clicking V1 and that's how you're gonna enable it. The next thing you can, you're gonna do is right click the screen and then you're gonna click overlays. What's cool about overlays is it now tells you which numerical keys for your switcher is here. So here's the cool thing. Once we hit play or space bar, Hey guys, this is my controller. And it's live. You can literally make these live cuts, and uh, and then when you're done, it's gonna do the cuts for you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do an example real quick, and I want you to see how this works. I'm gonna press play. Jones, we are the owners of Sassy Lashes. 
Our hard gonna cut to Shauna. Our uphill battle in the slash industry, and to show cut you, back to wide. A tiny bedroom in our house, extremely broke, has now turned into an eight Mike, company. We are here Shauna, to encourage you to wide. Slash journey. And then when I stop, when I hit spacebar to stop, if you can notice. Look, it, it made all the cuts. So you can imagine, you no longer have to do cut by cut by cut. You just need to listen for the person who's talking and then zoom into them. So that's pretty sweet. I mean, if I had 10 angles, it wouldn't be too hard to work with at this point. So, okay, maybe that would be crazy, it's 10 angles. Uh, so I'm gonna actually edit this in real time. I The reason why I really proxy is because I want to edit at such a fast pace because the L button on your keyboard Receiving tips, I can, can tips speed up the uh, the podcast and I only need to hear if Mike is talking or if Shauna is talking to cut to either one of them or I just cut to wide so I'm gonna just do this in real time uh, if it takes too long I'll just jump through it and you'll just see the end of it but let's see how this goes Hey guys, this is Mike and Shawnee Jones. We are the owners of Sassy Lashes. Our heart is to share with you guys our uphill battle in the slash industry and to show you what started out of a tiny bedroom in our house extremely broke has now turned into an eight-figure company. We are here to encourage you to enjoy your lash journey and to give you guys a raw, real version of what things are really like. <laughs> We're going to be speaking about tips. Yeah. Receiving tips, etiquette on receiving tips, what to do, what not to do. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Fun stuff. Before we get into it, obviously, you can think about a few announcements real quick. So, first one, lash on. This is what last chance to sign up for two weeks. And if you mess up, just pause and then go back to a good point where you like where it was, and then you can just okay. press play and then it'll overwrite uh, your your previous mistake if you just keep moving forward. A few moments later. Boom. I'm done editing this 15 minute podcast and it's only been four and a half minutes. Okay, maybe I'm not so, so done, but I did all the cuts and uh, it's pretty much ready to go. The only thing I'm gonna add is just the intro and the titles. So just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna add the intro music and the intro and the title uh, to, you wanna, I'm, I'm just copying it from the asset sequence and then I'm, I'm putting it onto the, uh, the sequence where I just made all those cuts. If you notice what I'm doing is I'm unselecting the paste. This allows me to paste around the actual project. So if you, I'm gonna paste and you, as you can see, is it pasted underneath? I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna paste, and it pasted around it because it was unselected. It's just a power tip if you didn't know. So now it simply just has the music. Hey guys, this is Mike and Sean. And the Jones, intro. The owners of Sassy Lashes. Our heart is to share with you guys our uphill battle in this. Got the good industry. old uh, the title going on. What started out of a tiny bedroom in our house, extremely broke, has now turned into an eight. And I'm just gonna bring in the two shot. Yeah, and then you can untoggle proxy if you want. Um, also, just wanna throw an outro song at the end. I'm just gonna hold down Option, drag, and it duplicates the file. So now it just has there's outro music. Mm -hmm. Who could find us to be of similar service or could benefit from this? Oh. Until then, we will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you. So boom! If the podcast is done. I'm just gonna cut it right there. So literally, this process used to take me over an hour, and now it takes me literally less than the actual podcast episode itself. I think a part that lends to this being able to be a possibility is the uh, the idea that this is a straight through podcast, that you know there's no mess ups in the middle. If they mess up, they just keep rolling through it. And uh, as you saw, I'm gonna just uh, put an out point right there at the end. And then I'm gonna uh, export this as a 1080p project. I could keep it 4K. It's a little, it's not, it's kind of like cheating if I kept it a 4K file because I zoomed in those other two angles a lot. So, I mean, I think for the sake of time and just to get the good use, I just do YouTube 1080p and uh, full HD and then you don't have to think about anything else. Uh, just name this tips for tips. Or tipping, tips for tipping and then boom you can hit export and you're good to go well hey i hope you got so much value out of that tutorial and if you did why don't you go ahead and hit the like button for me and also if you haven't noticed i got a little bit of think merch going on and we have opened up shop for pre-sales if you want to hit up and see all the things that we got going on make sure you hit the link in the description below and question for you is do you have an audio podcast or a video podcast if you do what is it about let me know in the comment section below and i hope we can see you in the next video take it easy